I'm Jenna Coles. I'm 11 years old. I'm in the sixth grade at Auburn School. I live on a farm in Auburn, Kentucky, and welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'll be making for you my peach steak wrap, which celebrates all of the flavors of summer in a wrap. And how can you go wrong with steak and peaches? We're gonna start with the steaks, and we're using this indoor grill because it's about to storm outside, but that won't stop us from making a peach steak wrap. So what we're gonna start is we're gonna take some cooking spray and spray our grill because that'll make cleanup a lot easier. Just spray top and bottom. Okay, now we're gonna season our steaks with one of my favorite seasonings with salt, garlic, and pepper. And so we're just gonna sprinkle this all over these steaks to get that nice flavor on there. Use our handy dandy tongs to flip it over and do it on the other side. Okie dokie, now we're just going to put these on the grill. Listen to them sizzle. Okay, let's see how our steaks are doing. Okay, I'm just gonna stick the thermometer into the steak without little notches. That's your indicator. That's where you need to stick it in where it's covered with meat. Okay, we've got these steaks off the grill. They're 145 degrees. And so we're just gonna let these rest so the juice can redistribute all through that steak and we'll get tender, juicy steak in every bite. I got a clean plate so we don't cross contaminate raw and cooked foods. Okay, now we're gonna do candy pecans. And how my mom usually makes candy pecans is she puts them in the oven. I don't have time to put them in the oven. I have steak white nami. So we're gonna do this in a much quicker, easier way in a skillet. And so we're gonna take half a cup of brown sugar, fourth of a teaspoon of salt, fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, two tablespoons of water, and a cup of pecans. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our skillet on medium heat and spray it. So all that sugary stuff doesn't get stuck to our pan. And we're gonna take our half a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of water, fourth teaspoon of salt, fourth teaspoon of cinnamon, and mix this all up. All right, it's bubbling, and that means it's time to add the pecans. Just give it a good stir, so those pecans get nice and coated with all of this caramel sauce. And so now, we're gonna transfer them onto some parchment paper, and just make sure you spread all these out. Now we're just going to spread these with our spoon. And so we're going to let these cool until they get nice and hard. Okay, so for the steak wrap, we're going to make like a little salad base. And in that salad base, we're going to cut up an onion. So we're going to cut the top off, put this in our garbage bowl. It's always handy to have a garbage bowl so you don't have to walk over to the trash can. And then we're gonna cut it in half with the root based up. Use the tunnel method with like this and cut down. Then you have two halves. All right, I only need a fourth of a cup, so I'm gonna use one half. All right, so what we do is we come on this side and we cut diagonally into the onion, but not all the way to the root, because this will hold it together. And we just do that all over the onion. Get thin little strips, because you don't want hunks of onion in your steak wrap. Halfway done. It cut diagonally when you get to these sides. We're almost there. 
Okay, done. Now that we have our slices, we're going to turn it around and cut off the root. Put that in our garbage bowl. And now we have perfect little slices to put in our steak wrap. We're going to take all of our nicely sliced onion and put it in our bowl. Now we're going to cut up the lettuce. And so how you cut lettuce is you take all your leaves and you kind of pile them up all together. And then you cut them once this way. And then you can just chop. Now you have all this nice and leafy lettuce. So, we're going to put our green leaf lettuce into our salad base. We're going to drizzle over our balsamic vinaigrette and toss it all together. You want to make sure all of your lettuce and onion is nice and coated with that balsamic vinaigrette. Okay, this is all tossed. Okay, so we're gonna slice our steak that has rested. Nice diagonal strips, nice thin. And boy, this will taste good in this steak. These little grains that go this way, so you kinda wanna cut against the grain. Now we're gonna warm up our flour tortillas so it'll be easier to roll. And we get a large tortilla, because this is a pretty big wrap. So you just warm it up a little bit on each side, not too much, until it's nice and warm. Okay, so we're gonna start the assemble. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take about a tablespoon of cream cheese and put it on the right third of the tortilla. And the awesome thing about this is, it's peach cream cheese. And so my dad said it tastes like a ball of peach ice cream on a wrap. And my mom was a little skeptical when I tried it at first, but now it's one of her favorite dishes that I make. Now we're gonna take some salad base and put it in the middle. Make sure you have like a little circle around it so it'll be much easier to roll it all up. Then we're going to take some of these delicious peaches, lay them all around this wrap on that lettuce base. You want a lot of peaches in every single bite. Alright, make sure you get peaches all over that lettuce. Okay, now we're going to add the star of the show, the steak. We're just going to place all of this around that peach. One more strip. Why not another one? Okay, now we're gonna add these candy pecans on there for a little bit of sweetness. Break it up. Eat a little bit. Up. Now we're gonna add some blue cheese. And blue cheese goes great with steak because that strongness of the blue cheese is met with that juiciness of that steak. And so they just marry together and they taste so good. All right, so now we're gonna roll it all up. We're gonna take the top and the bottom and kind of take them in together. And then you're gonna turn the glue, the glue facing out and the side with none on your, and you're just gonna roll all this up, tuck some stuff in if you have to, and just roll it up. Keep, make sure you keep it nice and control. Keep on rolling. And here you have it, a peach steak wrap. Okay, now let's cut this and see the beauty on the inside. Look at all of that. Does this not look delicious? Thanks for visiting my kitchen. I hope you like this peach steak wrap as much as I do. Now, the moment I've been waiting for since we started. Let's eat. Mmm. Mmm. That's good right there. I've always loved to cook. 
and I've been in the kitchen with my mom for as long as I can remember. And I love cooking so much, I started my own YouTube channel, Jenna's Kitchen, so I could share my cooking adventures with others. But I also like to do other stuff. Let me show you. I also shoot archery. Aim for the bullseye. I'm also very involved with church and church choir and I'm in the plays. I also participate in 4-H activities like speech and demonstration and country ham. Welcome to Eagleton Creek Farms and after school on the farm there's a lot of stuff to do. And so I'm going to show you some of the chores that I do. First we have to start off at my flock of chickens. And every day we have to feed, water them. I hear you clucks a lot. And check the yummy eggs. I'm going to hop on the car and go check the garden. Okay, we're in the high tunnel and today I'm going to pick okra. And okra will be great for some okra fritters or some jambalaya. Now look at this. How about some sunburst cherry tomatoes? These will be great for a salad, or how I like to eat them is just eat them straight. We're about to go check the cows, and they're about ready to calf, so we have to check them every morning and every night, and I'm gonna show you which one's mine. Woo, jump, 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 come on, cows. Woo, jump, 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 come on. See the one with the white face? That one's one of mine. Beef is one of my favorite things to cook, and so I'm proud to be a cattleman. Thanks for visiting with me, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye!